Hello there everyone. So I got a comment on my video with the fancy vortex effect, uh, this one right here. That was basically just asking me uh, what effect I used to make it. And I mean it's a little more complicated than just one effect. So I figured, ah hell, I'll just make a little tutorial. It's not like it's a proprietary secret or anything how I did this. So yeah, uh, we're just going to take a quick look at how I made this vortex. So it all starts uh, down here with a uh, with your basic CC particle world effect uh, and this is what the effect looks like on its own uh, and as always with particle effects you know the real way to do it is to basically just keep tweaking things until it looks just right so you know if you're making your own vortex you're going to be doing a lot of tweaking until it looks how you want it not necessarily like this uh, but a few important things to note is that first of all uh, under the physics tab, the animation type should be set to vortex. That's how you get the sort of swirls in here. Uh, and by default, uh, you're going to be viewing the vortex from the side. So what I did here is under extras and effect camera, uh, you want to change the X rotation on the camera to 90 degrees. Otherwise... Yeah, it looks like this. You're viewing the vortex from the side, which doesn't look like much of anything. So you want to uh, change the camera so that you're looking up at it. Uh, that way you get, or probably more I get to say you're looking down at it. You're looking down into the vortex. Uh, so that's how you get the, you know, the spirally look right there. Um, a few other things. Uh, depth cue. Yeah, there's a bit of a depth cue on there, a fade. Uh, but yeah, as always, with the rest of the settings, basically just tweak things. Oh, a few other things to note. Uh, the particles here are using a custom color map. That's how I got them to go from the white to the sort of green to the blue to the yellow, uh, which I think looks really nice. But of course, you'll want to be using different colors. Uh, anyway, uh, so once we have that particle effect and we're happy with it, I have those in another composition here, and this is where I pile a whole bunch of other effects on top of it. Uh, starting right here, we just have the basic effect. This time it's on a black background, so you can see it a bit more easily. Uh, but then on top of that is a composition with, of the same particle effect, but this one has a fast blur effect on it, and also the pin light screen, or sorry, the, the pin light blending mode. So when we add that, it adds sort of a glow on here. And here's what that layer looks like on itself. It's basically just a super blurred out version of the same effect. But when you add that onto the regular effect, it gives the whole thing a very nice looking glow, especially right there in the center. Uh, and then lastly, uh, there, is a, there is a third version of that particle effect on there. This one has a CC radial fast blur set to it, and also the blending mode is set to screen. Uh, and that's what adds the, you know, the light rays shooting out from the center, uh, which looks particularly nice, uh, you know, around here before the vortex fills up the whole screen. Uh, and again, so here's, here's what that layer looks like on its own. This is the one with the radial fast blur. Uh, and then, so I have the regular particle effect, and then the one with the fast blur, and then here with the radial fast blur. Uh, you put them all together, and then you have a very nice looking vortex. Uh, and then, just as a little note, uh, in the video I had on my channel, it kind of flashes at the beginning like that. You know, ching, and then it shoots out. So that's really simple. That's just the video of the vortex expanding out. But I did some time remapping on it. So it essentially goes out to about here, and then it rewinds back to the beginning, and then it. Uh, goes out here super fast, and then it goes then it's regular speed for the rest of the video. So the whole effect looks like this. And there we go. All right, yeah. So there, there you have it. Uh, it's not too complicated as you can see, but hopefully you can use these techniques for your own Doctor Who fan film or whatever the heck you want to use the vortex for. All right, thanks for watching. Goodbye.